Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am Donovan Cole, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to sharpen your photos in Photoshop with blur. So I have already completely retouched and color graded this entire image, and now I am ready to sharpen this image. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to create a merge visible stamp layer. And you can do that by holding down command or control, alt or option, shift and E at the same time. And uh, the next step that I'm going to take is I'm going to make a copy of this layer by hitting command or control J. And I'm just gonna name these layers accordingly really quick. I'll name this bottom one normal, and then I'm going to name this top one uh, Vivid. And now I'm going to put these into a group by holding down Shift and um, selecting my other layer. And Command or Control G will put them into a group. And I'm just going to name this group Sharpen. And now I'm going to um, change the blend mode of this entire group uh, to Overlay. And I'm going to select my Vivid layer and I'm going to change the blend mode of this to Vivid Light. I'm going to invert this Vivid layer actually by hitting Command or Control I, and then I'm going to come up to Filter, Blur, Surface Blur, and this will pop up for you. And I like to keep my radius and my threshold numbers um, pretty low. I find it just works best for me uh, with a radius of about 10 pixels and a threshold of about eight pixels. Um, but you know kind of play around with it and see what kind of uh, looks best for you But I do play around with the opacity of the entire group to kind of get um, the amount of sharpness that I want I will hit ok on this And I'll zoom in some and I'll do a before and after of uh, the entire group This is before and this is after so you can see how much detail it brings out in a picture. Um, I feel like it brings out a lot of the texture that you see in the picture, uh, especially on the texture of the building in the background, the texture of his clothing, um, detail on his hair, detail on his skin, but this does look fairly over sharpened, so I do lower the opacity of the entire group, so make sure that your sharpened group is selected, and I'll probably start at about 50% or so, and I'll do a before and after of that. Not as strong, but still a little too strong for my liking. So I'll probably hover around 40%. And that is before, and this is after. This is not sharpened, and this is sharpened. So this is a brand new sharpening technique that I learned. Um, normally, I sharpen my photos with a high pass filter, which I still do sometimes, but um, I really like the look that this sharpening technique uh, brings to my image. Normally after I sharpen an image I do always add grain to my picture and you can do that by creating a blank layer and I'm just gonna drag this layer out of that group really quick and on this blank layer I'm gonna come up to edit down to fill and I'm going to fill this with contents 50% gray. I will leave my blend mode at normal for now and my opacity at 100%. I'm gonna hit OK and then I'm going to go up to filter, noise to add noise. And I have my uh, Gaussian box checked and my monochromatic box checked as well. And I keep the amount really, really low normally. I'm at about 6% right now and you can tell it's, it's pretty grainy. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm going to change the blend mode of this layer to soft light. And I always lower the opacity um, I'll probably hover around 40% to start off with, and that's before, and this is after, and I'll probably knock this down just a little bit more, actually. Round... That looks pretty good. 34% works pretty well for this image. All right, so that is going to be it for this video. So if you all enjoyed it, if you learned something from it, please give it a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel for future videos. And I will also have the link to my Instagram page in the description below so that you all can go and check out some of my work. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time.